do you have a love hate relationship with LinkedIn? Listen, I get it. I know it's um, it's an interesting place. I think some people kind of be like, oh, LinkedIn is so cringe and it's so annoying. Where some people are like, I love LinkedIn. It's the best thing ever. Um, but here's the truth, right? If you think about it. Before LinkedIn, all we really had to sell ourselves in terms of experience and when we're looking for jobs was a CV or a resume and a cover letter of sorts, you know. Um, but if you think about that, the people would only see it after you've applied for a job. Whereas I feel like LinkedIn is a great tool to use as part of your job hunting strategy to sell your expertise without necessarily having to apply for jobs. And that way, tap into what's generally termed as the hidden job market, which is effectively where um, you start to be reached out by recruiters or hiring managers to say, I've got a job position coming up. Would you be interested? Um, you know, before they've ever kind of put it in the in the open job market, so to speak. Um, and I think LinkedIn is great for that. Um, and so what I'm going to share with you today is kind of my tips on how to build your LinkedIn profile as a business analyst to effectively help you on this job hunting journey, right? And get jobs uh, or at least become successful through the use of LinkedIn in this kind of um, journey of kind of progressing your career and job hunting and things of that nature. Now, I was actually invited by Pippa from the Business Analyst School to share this. So um, what you're going to be listening to is a recording from a talk that I did at the Business Analyst School and the members there. And it was a really fun talk. Um, and, 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 and you know, Pippa built the Business Analyst School to kind of effectively teach people business analysis and help you, particularly those of you who are aspiring BS, to kind of learn the foundation of business analysis and kind of really hone in on your skill set as a as an aspiring business analyst to know exactly how to be a business analyst and i think it's really great um and i had so much fun in that in that session now if before we get into it if you are interested in the business analyst school and what i just talked about there um i have put the link in the description for you to check them out and you know to become a member if that sounds like your your, your kind of thing um or you can go to inside businessanalysis.com forward slash ba school and that's b-a-s-c-h double O L uh, BA school. And, um, um, you know, you can check them out again. It's really great, especially for those of you who are like, I really want to learn to become a business analyst. I think you should definitely check out the BA school. Um, with that said, let's get into the talk where you learn all things about LinkedIn, uh, well, at least how to set up your profile to to be attractive to recruiters. Now, there's one thing I'm going to share, just a, a thought I'm going to share with you before we get into that. And is that the number one thing I want you to think about when it comes to LinkedIn is what's your goal with it? You know, what is it that you're trying to do? Because the, what you're trying to do with your LinkedIn profile will determine how you approach it. Uh, and, and so this talk was kind of given from the perspective of those of you who are looking to leverage LinkedIn as part of your job hunting strategy. Um, you know, if you're looking to leverage LinkedIn to build a personal brand, that's a that's a whole different talk altogether. Um, but, you know, you can still learn a thing or two here. Um, but anyway, that's enough from me. Uh, let's just get into it. Hopefully, you learn something valuable and useful um and if you do you know if you're watching this on youtube let me know in the comments what's up if you're listening on the podcast then feel free to dm me on linkedin afterwards and let me know what you thought right hope you enjoy it um so yeah mastering linkedin for business analysts is today's uh talk and effectively I'm just going to show you got a few strategies. I'm not going to talk about everything because there's so much into LinkedIn that, um, you know, you just kind of don't really have uh, a lot of time today to get into. Uh, but I'll just kind of cut touch on one of the main things. Um, so why LinkedIn? Well, I'll probably say if you look at the things on the left, which are your CV, your cover letter, you know, that's what we kind of before the world of LinkedIn, that was kind of the only way in which people could know about what you did, what your experience was about. Uh, number two, you know, you, you kind of relied on word of mouth to kind of say, yeah, yeah, you know, Bukala is a good BA or Aisha's a good BA or whatever. Uh, and then uh, the only way you could build your network was to attend some sort of in-person events, um, conferences and things like that, kind of be like, hey, I'm Tyler Jacobs, I'm a business analyst and good to meet you, let's, let's stay connected. Whereas now with LinkedIn, uh, you know, on LinkedIn, you can build your brand, you can showcase your portfolio and you can effectively build virtual professional connections and build your network on one platform without ever leaving your house um, on a mobile phone. And I think that's really powerful. Um, in the context of like your job and your careers and your profession, LinkedIn is probably the best online platform for that. If you think about it, no one on Instagram really cares that you're a BA, not really. Um, and and people people on TikTok maybe care if you teach them how to do it, but not really just in general. Um, but on LinkedIn, you know, people 
kind of come to you and say, oh, you're a business analyst. I'd love to have a chat with you, please, if that's okay. And so it's kind of the only platform that's unique in that sense that is directly linked to your profile. Um, but all of those things aside, you know, like, I don't know about you guys, but for me, uh, this is this right here, this, this is the reason why I love LinkedIn. You know, I get I get a message like this and I'm like, oh my days, like this is incredible. Look at this. It says new contract opportunity, business analyst. Hey Tando, hope you're doing well. Don't mind me reaching out to you directly. But watch watch what it says. It says I came across your profile, not your CV, not your not I was referred by somebody else, not I met you on this event, but I came across your profile on LinkedIn and I was impressed in, um immediately impressed by your experience and I wanted to let you know about an exciting opportunity I have with a client that I'm recruiting for. It is literally the first own and only platform that I've personally experienced where a recruiter calls you rather than the other way around. And, you know, usually we're the ones begging for the jobs, but all of a sudden you've got people who are hiring for jobs coming to you. And and really that, if like for me, this is the end goal. It's not about likes and followers and like comments and all of those things are important, don't get me wrong. But at the end of the day, what, what like for me as a business analyst, it's important that I know I'm I'm in a role that I love. I'm doing things that I enjoy, but also in the marketplace, um, I'm I'm attractive. People, you know, would love to hire me for my skills. And and if you want DMs like this, basically, um, you have to take LinkedIn seriously. You can't just you can't just kind of just take it lightly. You have to take it seriously. Um, and so that's kind of the first thing there. This, but you know, a little bit about me. I'm a certified business analyst consultant, certified BCS wise. I'm literally just. Like I'm literally there. I'm there to get my international diploma. I'm, I haven't got it just yet, but I'm like right there. I, I just need to book the exam um, in BCS, in international development, in business analysis. I've got over six years experience, primarily in financial services, capital markets, and higher education. And on LinkedIn, I've kind of been probably taking it seriously for the last three years, I'd, I'd say, um, more the last year and a half. Um, has become more serious in the first year and a half. Um, I've got 5,000 followers, 2,000 connections or 2,000 plus. Um, and, and, but like I said, guys, like that's for me, that's that's nice and that's great. But the more important thing about LinkedIn is that DM that I showed you previously just around having that profile and that, that type of presence and branding online that will make you attractive to people who are hiring for business analysts because that's, you know, that's what matters at the end of the day. So, how do you build your profile? Well, rather than kind of me showing you slides and going through different things, I thought, let me just go, let me just show you my profile, show you how I've personally built my profile, and then you can take some tips for, for following on from that. And if you have any questions, like feel free to ask as we're going along. Um, I'm, I'm all right to, to be disturbed. If there's any questions in the chat, people just let me know. Um, so obviously I'm sharing my screen uh, as well. So let's go through uh, the profile, or at least my profile, so you can have a, a look to see what um, what things look like. Incredible. Right. Can you all see my profile? I know it looks a bit funny because it's showing the admin side. And let me zoom my screen in because I know I'm using a big screen here. Okay. So first of all, is that is that good? Is that zoomed in enough? Anyone see it? Everyone see that? Thumbs up in yeah. the chat or yes, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so first things first, uh, and I'm going to run through quite a few things on here um, in terms of what's, you know, what kind of things you might want to look out for is um, you need, when it comes to like visuals, you know, you kind of got this thing here that's called a LinkedIn banner. And, you know, as you can see, what I've done here is kind of put all the certification that I have, the kind of degrees and certifications that I have that are not just business analysis related. And all of this kind of speaks to my experience, my knowledge, my expertise, my the thing I bring to the table. You then have kind of what I am or what I do, which is I'm a certified business analyst and an, an email address, how to contact me. So as soon as they've come here, they don't even have to look for my contact details. It's right there send me an email immediately um i would have put my mobile number but that's probably too much <laughs> i think email is fine um but the idea is I've, I've pretty much i'm saying a lot without saying a lot because i'm putting pictures of certifications and if you're in the business analysis world you would you would definitely know what these two are bcs and iba so immediately someone looks at this and think this person is a business analyst um the second thing is you want to obviously a really good 
uh, headshot picture there, one that people can at least see you clearly. Um, we're living in a digital age where like, if you don't have a picture or your picture's blurry or people can't really see your face immediately, um, unfortunately, what that subliminally does is that they don't really feel like they connect with you personally immediately. Um, but if you have a clear picture, people can clearly see you. And the idea is I'm trying to build the connection and the trust immediately by you seeing that picture that's why it's quite close up i'm smiling and you know you can you can kind of connect with me there um and then underneath my name see what a lot of people do is they kind of put their job title and they put the name of the employer now i listen you can do what you want to do that's fine but my stance is this i'm not going to promote my employer I'm, I'm on linkedin to promote me so my employer has their own linkedin page they can do that for themselves what i will do is talk about what i do so i'm a passionate business analyst consultant that's me i'm also the host of the inside business analysis podcast that's me i'm not going to talk about i'm a business analyst at this company and no 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 they, they've got their page that can promote themselves i'm only here to promote me um so i would say underneath your name Definitely do that. Why? Because you will notice, uh, notice even, this is exactly the, the thing that you will see when you are creating posts or when you're commenting. And so you don't, you want that to at least make sense because people will see this when they're just scrolling through the feed, right? So let's just, let's just literally look at it so you can see it in real life. You can see immediately, I can see that I see the name and I see the job title. I don't really need to say anything else beyond that. If they have made a comment, it be the same situation. And so that's why for me, that's important to sell what you do. So that's the name, that's the, the description and um, uh, the pictures. Let's scroll down to a bit that matter. The about for me summary is a lot of things happening here. Um, effectively you could almost think of this as like my cv summary section as well uh this is how i've approached this and try to summarize my experience summarize the things uh my, my achievements the methodologies and frameworks that i've worked in as a ba the software applications that i'm comfortable with and that i know the key technologies i've you know i've got under my belt xyz and just trying to summarize my business analyst experience in that about section uh again the reason why I'm doing that is because I've built this profile to sell my experience at the end of the day, to sell my, my expertise. And I want people to, to, to look at this and think and read about this and know like, okay, yeah, like this is the kind of BA that has the experience and knowledge that we need. But the other reason, and, and, and I'll kind of touch on this later on as well, is that when it comes to recruiters and things like that, do you know what they do? What they do when they're looking for a business analyst, for example, is that let, let's just say, for instance, and, and this is not where they do it, but let's just say, for instance, they're looking for a business analyst who has Salesforce experience, right? This is what they will search for, Salesforce business analyst, and, um, and then filter that by people. And then they'll see, right, who has Salesforce business analyst experience? All of a sudden, you can see they will definitely reach out to Jennifer, they'll reach out to Josh, they might reach out to Abby Odun, he's got it there, Salesforce Business Analyst on his on his profile. But you can see how all of a sudden, this was picked up on there, the little bit under the name, and also current, which is the job title, which we'll come to, is there. And also, um, yeah, most of these are current. So all of this information will come up when jobs, job, um, when recruiters even are searching for your profile or searching for somebody who fits that profile, should I say. So that's why you want to, number one, add as much information as you can on the about section that speaks to experience. The other thing that you want to do, which links into that, is then looking at your job titles and your history. Um, you want to include as much information as you can as well. So for me, for instance, um, when I was at the London Stock Exchange Group, I've put all of the stuff that I did and all the achievements that I had. So it's pretty much, you could almost argue, it reads like a CV. And then the second thing, and I've done this for all of them, every single one of my jobs, or at least every single one of my previous experiences, I've done all of this. Every single one. I'm not even exaggerating, guys. Every Literally, 12 experiences, I'm going all the way back. Which year are we looking? We're going all the way back to 2005 when I was delivering newspapers. There's a couple of bullet points there as well. I'm not here to play games. I'm here to sell my experience. So everything is on here. But all of it, if you read closely, links to like trying to promote me as a BA of sorts. Um, so that's what I've tried to do. And I'm literally 
doing all of this. Now, skills, I'll come to skills in a second, um, but you will notice that underneath the stuff, there's a skills section and there's a skills section here. So what this is taking it from is actually from the skills uh, section of your profile, which I'll scroll down to it just now. There it is right here, skills. So whenever you add a skill, and I've got five to five at the moment, um, you you can link that skill to a job that you are currently doing. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's go back. Uh, there we go. So show off your five skills, and you can link each skill to a job that you've done and also a certification that you've got. So you can see all of the skills linked to jobs and stuff like that. But again, the reason why this is important is that if the recruiter is searching or business analyst with process business process automation skill, for example, your profile will come up. If a, if a recruiter search for business analyst with FX, FX business analyst, my profile will come up, for example, and things of that nature. So that's why in the skill section, I'm putting higher education business analyst, FX business analyst, business systems analysis, change management, stakeholder management. I'm putting every single skill I can think of that they will be searching for for when they're looking for business analyst because the skills section also helps when it comes to the recruiters finding your profile and also when they look at the profile they say okay this person you know they they know what they're doing but like i said they it's not it's not like they'd be looking at your profile in detail like we're doing right now it's more like they'd search for it and if your profile ticks all of the search parameters that they've put in then your profile will come up. Now they don't search here. They, there's something called LinkedIn, um, uh, LinkedIn Navigator. I think I can't remember the name of it, but it's, it basically is a paid portion of LinkedIn that recruiters use to find good profiles to reach out to, and they use that to search for profiles. And when they use that, that's how your profile gets shown to them when you have the type of things that they're looking for. So they might type in job title, business analyst, and then they put under the skills section, put like three skills that they're looking for. And if you've got all three skills on your profile, happy days, because you would definitely show up. Um, another way that you can kind of see this in action is if you go to the jobs por portion, for example, and let's just click, uh, I don't know, this job, um, you we'll see that LinkedIn actually gives you an idea of whether your skills added to this job link to the skills on your profile. So you may be a good fit based on your experience. Why? Because some of the skills that are here are not on my profile. That's why it says you may be. You know, I could be good, but it says you may be. If I click on another one, it might say something different. So that's how, that's why that skill section is quite important um, because when they're putting these skills for this job title, it's the same section that the recruiters are searching for when they're finding your profile. So that's why that skills section is important. Um, and, and so for me, I'd say the the pictures, the bit under your name and the, the about section, the detail around your previous experience and the skills section are really, really important. If you're kind of looking for a job, you want to leverage your LinkedIn profile to stand out to recruiters and things of that nature. Other things that are that are that kind of help, but these aren't, I wouldn't necessarily say these are like must haves. They'd probably say, think of these as should haves. Um, it's, if you've got the capacity to do it, is to get some recommendations from your colleagues, from people you've worked with, from people in this community to say, hey, give me a recommendation for you know the work that I do as a business analyst, because this really just acts almost as a, um, a reference on LinkedIn and and kind of speaks to your um, your experience. You know, if you've got real people giving you real feedback that is public on LinkedIn, like that's a great thing. And not many people are going to give this to you. So if somebody actually does this, then that means you actually did a really good job or you made a really good impression. And again, that helps to speak to your experience. Um, th there's other things that I can go into, but I think those are probably the main things that I'd say that are really, really key to like boosting up your profile and making it stand out to, to recruiters. Because again, you know, that, that's why we're doing what we're doing at the end of the day is to stand out to recruiters and make them kind of want to uh, reach out to you and get the DMs that I showed you earlier on at the start of this talk. Um, I'm, I'm going to stop here in terms of the presentation because I'm aware of time. 
and really just open the floor for questions at this point about LinkedIn, using LinkedIn, other things around LinkedIn. Um, because um, yeah, there's so much I could have covered, but I just wanted to give you the foundation of how you can build your profile to not kind of just be something that gets lost in the shadows, but something that stands out when uh, you are looking for jobs and when recruiters are potentially finding you and then reaching out to you on DM and saying, hey, we saw your profile, we'd love to have a chat um, kind of thing. So yeah, I'll stop sharing and then open the floor for questions.